Welcome to part 3 of the ChatGPT PPC prompt series. In parts 1 and 2 of the series, I shared exactly what ChatGPT prompts that you can use for research and planning, as well as add copy and create. In today's video, I'm going to uncover some of my favorite ChatGPT prompts for PPC insights and analysis. You don't want to miss out on the fifth prompt that I have for you, which will be a game changer for campaign improvements. Please stay tuned until the very end, and also please take a second to give this video a quick thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel. Now let's go ahead and dive in. The first prompt that I have for you has to do with Excel formula lookups. And this is actually really helpful for those users that are not as savvy with Excel, but needs a fast way to come up with formulas and understand how to best use formulas in order to get a certain result. So if you're not familiar with a lot of Excel functions, this is a really great place to start within ChatGPT. Um, the key here is that you have to be very specific about your input because a bad input is going to lead to a bad output and vice versa. So if you put in a good input and you're very clear with ChatGPT what exactly you're looking for, you will get an output that's going to be helpful that you can apply in your Excel formula. So in this case for my prompt here, I'm pretty much telling ChatGPT that I have an Excel sheet, column A has a list of names, column B has another list of names, and I would like an Excel formula to scan column A and column B to see which names appear in both columns. And I asked ChatGPT to come up with a formula or function for it, and ChatGPT has come back with the count if function in Excel. It gives me the formula, and all I have to do is just use the formula and follow the instructions, and I will be able to get the output that I'm looking for. This next prompt is perfect for anyone who needs help with cause and effect analysis. Because if you're seeing a dip in performance, you really need to quickly identify what's causing this. And ChatGPT is going to be a very helpful resource in order to help you identify what places to look into in order to diagnose this specific issue so that it can be course corrected. So this is the prompt that I have. And it's my conversion rate decreased by a certain amount in Google Ads where should I look to identify what caused this? And ChatGPT came back with six different places that I can look at performance, landing page experience, bid strategy, changes to your website, competitive landscape, and seasonality. So these are six different places that I can look in order to diagnose this specific issue. And from there, I'll be able to be better equipped with the knowledge that will be able to help me identify how to potentially fix this. This next prompt, I'm sure you're gonna be really excited about, and this has to do with having ChatGPT look at data points in a table. And this prompt is look at some data points in a table and provide me a quick analysis with a quick bullet point summary of what happened. And what I did was I just copied and pasted an Excel table into ChatGPT. And while the alignment was off, it was still able to understand the assignment and it came back with a quick bullet point summary of what exactly happened. So this is really great for anyone that's into analytics and storytelling, especially making a story out of a bunch of numbers. ChatGPT is really good about doing analysis. You can give them multiple months and it will be able to come back with a more detailed analysis um, over a several months time. Have you tried to understand the definition of certain super technical terms within Google ads, but it's still not making sense based off of their definitions? Well, ChatGPT can certainly help with the act like a type of prompt. And this prompt is act like a PPC expert and explain a certain topic like impression share lost to budget to me like I'm five years old. And ChatGPT was a very quick to come back with a not exact definition, but a definition to explain it to someone like they were five years old. And it came back with something that was very easy to digest. And I perfectly understand what impression share lost to budget is based off of the definition that it provided me. So let's say that you're getting a notification that you're getting limited by budget and you don't know what to do about it besides just increasing your budget within Google ads. Well, this is the perfect prompt for you. And it's my Google ads campaign show 
shows that I'm limited by budget. What can I do in order to not be limited by budget? So you will probably be getting some notifications within your Google Ads account and ChatGPT can help you diagnose and identify what you can do in order to fix these notifications. And this is just an example. And ChatGPT came back with a couple different ways that I can not be limited by budget besides just increasing my daily budget, which is the first option. And then they also said monitor your ad performance, optimize your ad targeting, improve your ad relevance, experiment with ad scheduling. And this is a really great way in order to troubleshoot and fix what potentially could be going wrong with some specific notifications. And ChatGPT can certainly be your assistant with that. This next prompt is powerful if you're not really that savvy with Excel, but you still want to be able to show a visual representation of your data and you'll be able to get step-by-step -step instructions from ChatGPT based off of your PPC data. And here is the prompt. And it's, how can I create a line graph showing impressions and clicks over a three month period with the data provided from this table? And all that I did was just copy and paste an Excel table and ChatGPT gave me very clear step-by-step -step instructions on how to put together a line graph for data visualization. This next prompt is great if you're looking for recommendations for different softwares. And in this case, I was looking for specific software tools for CRO or conversion rate optimization. And this is the prompt. What are the best software tools for conversion rate optimization? And ChatGPT came back with seven software tools. Now I do want to caveat that the results that it's going to give back to you is based off of 2021 and before. So if there's any new software tools that have come out since then, it won't be included in here. So this is just a really good place to start if you're looking for some basic recommendations. And ChatGPT will be able to help you with coming up with some recommendations to look into for a specific type of need. And this final prompt is not necessarily a prompt, but it does tie into analytics and reporting and using ChatGPT to analyze your search query reports. Now, this is a task that would sometimes take hours, especially depending on how many search queries you have to go through, but you can actually use ChatGPT to analyze your search query reports and rank the search terms based off of how relevant they are so that you don't have to be spending lots of time scanning through line by line of every single search term. So I've already put together this video here that you see on the screen. It's just a quick five minute video showing you exactly how to use ChatGPT to do the search query reports and analysis so that you can save lots of time. And I would love for you to check it out. I'll drop the link in the description as well as at the end of this video. Well, there you have it. That's part three of three for this entire ChatGPT prompt series. I hope you found Found it helpful in order to make your life easier using ChatGPT for all of your PPC related tasks. Now, please give this video a quick thumbs up if you haven't already, and please subscribe. Would love if you could support this channel. I'll go ahead and drop the links to part one and two of the series below for you to go ahead and check out because I wouldn't want you to miss them either. Now, please take care, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.